In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we say the stations written by Bishop Michael Campbell. The stations of the cross have long been a popular and much loved Catholic devotion. To walk the way of the cross with the suffering Christ, prayerfully contemplating his humiliation and suffering, gives us the courage to accept and to bear our own particular share of the cross, whatever form that may take. This cherished devotional practice teaches us the profound and mysterious lesson that it was through his suffering and cross that the Son of God redeemed the world. The stations offer the sick and the frail, those who are oppressed and downcast, the opportunity to unite their sufferings to those of Christ and to make their own the sentiments of St. Paul. To complete what is yet to be done in Christ's affliction for the sake of his body, that is the Church. I offer these meditations on the station of the cross in the hope that all who use them will draw closer to our blessed Lord, who loves each one of us in our weakness and frailty. Through walking the way of Calvary with Christ, may we be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Let us proceed. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, we bless you. Like a lamb led to the slaughterhouse, like a sheep dumb before its shearers, he never opened his mouth. And Pilate passed the sentence of death on Jesus, and he, the innocent lamb of God, goes to meet his death for the salvation of the whole world. Lord Jesus, you humbly submitted to your Father's will and obediently set out on the road to Calvary for our sake. Teach us the lessons of your passion and in the Father's will let us find our peace. Give us generosity of spirit to accept without complaint our situation in life and the faith to believe that you are never far from any of us. For you are Emmanuel, the God with us. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. My song is love unknown, my Saviour's God to me, love to the loveless shown that they might lovely be. Oh, who am I that for my sake my Lord should take frail flesh and I. The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We do you work, Christ, and we bless you. And carrying his own cross, he went out of the city to the place of the skull, or it was, or as it was called in Hebrew, Golgotha. The cross is laid on Jesus, and he, a condemned man, begins his journey to the place of execution. The cross was an instrument of shame, but embraced by Jesus, it would become the tree of life. Lord Jesus, you invite us to come after you and take up our cross each day. May we willingly and patiently accept our cross through the trials of life, knowing that by your example and with the help of your grace, we will persevere to the end. 
Give us the wisdom to learn that when we lose our life for your sake, then we will in truth find it. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Now permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. He came from his blessed throne, salvation to bestow. But men made strange, and none the longed for life would know. But, O oh, my friend, my friend indeed, who at my need his life did spend. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Ours were the sufferings he bore, ours the sorrows he carried. Tradition tells us that Jesus fell three times as he carried his cross. Jesus was weak from his scourging and ill-treatment at the hands of the Roman soldiers, and his strength gives out. Lord Jesus, you found the weight of the cross too much to bear, and you fell to the ground. Be close to us when the road gets too hard and our strength fails. Keep us from self-pity and discouragement and make us firm in hope. You are our high priest and can sympathize with us in our weaknesses. In all our trials and temptations, let your grace be sufficient for us. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Sometimes they strew his way, and his strong praises sing, resounding all the day, hosannas to the King. Then crucify is all their breath, and for his death they thirst and cry. The fourth, sta the fourth station, Jesus meets his mother Mary. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Woman, behold thy son. On this journey, this sorrowful journey, the afflicted Christ meets Mary, his mother. What must her thoughts have been as she witnessed her son being led to his death? The words of Simeon were coming true, and a sword shall pierce your own soul. Lord Jesus, your mother Mary shared deeply in your sufferings. Your pain was her pain. We commend to you today all mothers who suffer for the sake of their children. May the steadfast example of your mother Mary be a comfort and support to them. You will that your mother Mary should be our mother. Let her love ever surround us and her prayer protect us all the days of our life. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always and then do with me what you will. Why, what had my Lord done? What makes this rage and spite? He made the lame to run, he gave the blind their sight. Sweet injuries, yet they at these themselves displease and against him rise. And the fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Simon, they enlisted a passerby called Simon of Cyrene father of Alexander and Rufus, 
who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. Simon of Cyrene happened to be passing by and helped Jesus to carry his cross. Simon's good deed will forever be remembered as he proved a friend of the Son of God when he most needed him. Lord Jesus, you taught us that the true test of love for God is the love we show to one another. Like Simon, make us a true friend of all whom we meet along the road of life especially the weak and the suffering. Forgive us for the times we have passed by on the other side, and let us see your face in the faces of those around us. For when we reach out to others, we are ministering to you. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. The rise and needs will have, my dear Lord, made a way. A murderer, they save the prince of life, they slay. Yet steadfast he to suffering goes that he his foes might thence might flee. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Without beauty, without majesty, we saw him. No looks to attract our eyes. Despised and rejected, a man of sorrows and acquainted with suffering. Veronica moved with pity for the despised and the suffering Christ. She steps forward and wipes his face with a towel. Her act of kindness and great compassion would never be forgotten. Lord Jesus, in the midst of your suffering and distress, you found someone to take pity on you. Veronica had the courage to reach out to you in your affliction. May we never fail to feel the sufferings of others and seek to lighten their burden. Make us compassionate as our Heavenly Father is compassionate, for he is close to the afflicted and the brokenhearted. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent of my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Here might I stay and sing No story so divine Never was loved, dear King Never was grief like thine This is my friend In whose sweet praise I all my days could gladly spend <coughs> The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree. By his wounds you have been healed. Under the weight of the cross and our sins, Jesus falls to the ground a second time. The road gets harder with each step, the demands of love ever greater. Lord Jesus, as you carried your cross to Calvary, you had each one of us in mind, because your love is infinite and knows no limits. When we meet with difficulties and adversity in our own lives, let us recall your great love and remember that you walk beside us every step of the way. Left to ourselves, we stumble and fall, but with the power of your grace, all things become possible for us. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent of my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince 
of glory died. My richest gain I count as loss and poor contempt on all my pride. The eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, we bless you. Large numbers of people followed him, and women too, who mourned and lamented for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep rather for yourselves and for your children. Devout women from Jerusalem were distraught as they beheld Christ being led to his place of execution. Foreseeing the horrors that would befall the holy city, Jesus told them to weep for themselves and for their children. Lord Jesus, you did not ignore the sympathy of the women of Jerusalem, but acknowledged their tears, grateful for a word of comfort as you toiled under the weight of the cross. Keep us from being too proud to receive a kind word, from appreciating the good motives of others. I love you, Jesus. I love all of you. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Forbid it, Lord, that I should boast, save in the cross of Christ my God. All the vain things that charm me most I sacrifice them to his blood. The ninth station, Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By his sufferings shall my servant justify many. Jesus, his strength fails him and he falls to the ground a third time under the cross. He will rise and continue his painful journey because for him it is a journey of love. Lord Jesus, you carried your cross without complaint and accepted your sufferings in complete submission to your Father's will. Your love for your Father enabled you to trust, to hope, endure whatever lay ahead. Inspire us, Lord, by your example of love confidently to embrace the difficulties and challenges of our own situation with trust in God, for he is our loving Father. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. See from his head his hands, his feet, sorrow and love flow mingle down. Did e'er such love and sorrow meet, or thorns compose so rich a crown? The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. At the place of execution, Christ was stripped of his dignity and publicly humiliated. The soldiers then cast lots for his clothes, adding insult to their act of shame. In St. John's Gospel we read, when the soldiers had finished crucifying Jesus, they took his clothing and divided it in four parts one for each soldier. Lord Jesus, you became an object of derision for our sake. Through our holy anointing and baptism and confirmation, you call us to be your witnesses in today's world. We pray that we will never be ashamed of our faith or be afraid of the scorn or ridicule for the sake of your name. May we always be prepared to give a reason for the hope that is within us. Teach us the enduring lesson of your passion, 
that when we are weak, it's then we find strength. I love you, Jesus. May I love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. His dying crimson like a robe spreads o'er his body on the tree. Then I am dead to all the globe, and all the globe is dead to me. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. When they reached the place of the skull, there they crucified him with two criminals, one on the right and the other on the left. The last brutal act of the soldiers now unfolds as they nail Jesus to the cross. He is placed between two criminals and his humiliation is complete. Lord Jesus, you were born poor in a stable and were crucified naked on Calvary between two thieves. Your self-abasement is now complete. The love you showed for us knew no limits, even to dying on a cross. You became poor for our sake, so that through your poverty we might become rich. Lord, let us unite our sufferings with yours and come to make our own the wisdom of the cross. Then we shall indeed be rich and know true peace. I love you, Jesus, my love of all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Were the whole realm of nature mine that were an offering far too small, Love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, saying, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. With these words he breathed his last. At the moment of death, Jesus surrenders himself into the hands of his Father. His life's work is done. Lord Jesus, our crucified Saviour, you embrace death so that we might not die forever. By your selfless love, you transformed the wood of the cross into the tree of life, and so drew us all to yourself. Following your example, when the hour of our death comes, may we too exclaim with you, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Soul of my Saviour, sanctify my breast. Body of Christ, be thou my saving guest. Blood of my Saviour, bathe me in thy tide. Wash me in waters flowing from thy side. Thirteen station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We do you, O Christ, and we bless you. 
Joseph of Arimathea went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be handed over. The lifeless body of Jesus now taken down from the cross, wrapped in clean linen and about to be laid in the tomb. Lord Jesus, by becoming a man, you shared fully in all that belongs to us. You enter the dark night of death and would destroy its power over mankind. Death would no longer have any power over you. In your death is our hope, for in dying you destroyed our death and restored us to friendship with our Heavenly Father. I love you, Jesus. I love above all things. I repent of my whole heart for having offended you. Now permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Strength and protection, may thy passion be. O blessed Jesus, hear and answer me. Deep in thy wounds, Lord, hide and shelter me. So shall I never, never part from thee. The fourteenth station, the body of Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. At the place where he had been crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had yet been buried. Since it was the Jewish, peace, Jewish day of preparation, and the tomb was near at hand, they laid Jesus there. Joseph and Nicodemus lovingly laid, the, lovingly laid the body of Jesus in a new tomb. His mother and the other women stood watching, observing the place where he was buried. Lord Jesus, we profess in the creed that for our salvation, you suffered under Pontius Pilate, were crucified, died and buried. You laid down your life at a time of your own choosing because you are the son of the eternal father. We do not know the day or the hour of our death, but we place all our trust in you. We pray that you will welcome us into our heavenly home, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you will be all in all. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent from my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. We will go to the tabernacle. Because in the Blessed Sacrament, we truly have the 15th station, which is the risen Lord always with us. Guard and defend me from the former line in dead straight moments. Make me only thine. Call me and bid me come to thee on high, where I may praise thee with thy saints for I. Pray for the Pope's intentions for peace in our world, especially for the victims of war in Ukraine and all the other places of conflict around the world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping, despair of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, then eyes of mercy towards us. And after us, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy own Jesus. O Clement, our loving, our sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth and beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts. The wheat in the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance always remain with us. May the souls of the faithful departure through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Thank you for coming today. And uh, next week is Palm Sunday. We have the reading of the Passion at all the Masses, so there won't be stations at four o'clock. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ.